Hello and welcome. This is Stacker 2020. It is Friday, Good Friday, Easter Friday. So I'd like to wish all of you who do observe it a very happy Easter. I hope you're going to have a lovely weekend, a nice long weekend. Let's hope that we get some good weather. I know I've got my fingers crossed because I have lunch in the garden later. So today, what have we got going on? Well, we've got the most important thing, got a cup of coffee. Um, today is a little bit of a mixed bag. We're going to do a bit of a mail call from America. We've got a little talk about the copper pouring and showing you some of my more recent pieces, not just the bullion bars. And then finally, I'm going to share with you two stunning uh, silver pours from a wonderful artist over in the UK called RPM Rios Precious Metals. So let's get to it. First of all, the most important thing, sip of the old coffee. Mm. And let's go. So this is, a, as I said, a mail call. This is coming from North America. If we have it out, I did just, I haven't looked at it properly, but I did just slide it out. And for those of you who do know, this is Silver Gopher. A great channel, lovely guy. Um, if you haven't actually seen his channel, I'm going to leave a link in the description. So do check it out. Go and say hi and tell him I sent you. And this is his great little logo there. And uh, here you go. There's some stickers. So we've got two of his stickers there. That's great. Join the Silver Underground. Lovely. So they're going to go onto the wall. Uh, I don't have too many up there, but they're going to go up there and join the sticker wall. And uh, thank you so much for those, buddy. And then uh, let's see. We do have some writing inside. Oh, good luck. And there's even a little coin there as well. Okay, I'll get that out in a second. But let's see that. Hey, Stacker 2020. I just got in your stickers. You did a great job on the design. I'm really glad to be able to add that to my sticker board. Uh, congratulations on hitting 500. You deserve the success. I really enjoy your content. Take care, Silver Gopher. That is super sweet, my friend. And uh, well, let, let's get that out and see what we've got going on there in the coin. Okay. Mm, okay, lovely. We're just getting him out of the plastic. So what we have here actually is a really beautiful condition. Um, this is an Australian 1943 sixpence in really nice um, unk condition. Like that is really beautiful. So thank you so much for that, buddy. That is uh, really lovely. And uh, I will make sure that the one I have in my collection gets swapped out for this one. Because I always try and, in my collection, I always put like the presents and ones which I've got through trades and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's definitely going to go into the collection. So there you go. Thank you so much, Silver Gopher. That's uh, really sweet. That's really lovely. I'm super happy to be adding your stickers to the board. Now... I'm going to be back in two seconds. I just want to reset the board, guys, so bear with me. Okay, so I'm back. I just wanted to add, actually, if anybody wants to get a sticker trade on, my uh, email is in the description below. I'm more than happy to uh, yeah to trade around the world uh, with the other channels. So, yeah, please do hit me up. And, uh, well, look, this is what I wanted to show as part two of this video was actually what I've been doing recently with the copper. So I've got to do that ever-important coffee sip here. Yeah, you know, I really wanted to start experimenting and get more creative um, with with the metal stamping and things like that. So the copper actually is a great medium for me to sort of, you know, wet my, uh, cut my teeth, as they say, before I move on to the silver. But I'm really, I just really loving the look and feel and working with copper. So let's have a bit of a look. Actually, let me just zoom in from here and... Uh, so yeah, so this is what I've been up to over the, the last couple of weeks, uh, actually pouring more scrapping, more pouring of the copper. And uh, well, let's see, actually, let's do it roughly in order. I started off with this uh, finger bar here, 
with the leaves and floral design. You can see at the bottom the S20 logo and um, the eye privy. And I really like this style. I like it sort of lends to something growing almost. You know, it's quite organic, this long, thin style. And uh, yeah, they're nice. You know, it's a good weight. I mean, like, this is a 100 gram bar. Um, so yeah, they do that. They are nice sort of weight. When I've been pouring them, they've been, I mean, around that. So 3.3, you know, this is, I think about 110 grams, that sort of thing. So I did a few of these finger bars. Um, and you know, obviously each one of these is absolutely unique, even though they're the same format. Uh, you can see, you know, the stamping isn't the same. It is just a uh, freehand stamping that I'm doing, just going with my instinct and uh, what feels right at the time. And then I did a couple of these little buttons just at, when I was, you know, had, didn't have enough to pour, say a bar. So I just like poured a few of these little ones. So that's 34 grams, just over an ounce. And I have this tiny little one here, um, which is, what's that, 22 grams, yeah. I mean, anyone who follows me on Instagram would have seen I have been posting uh, these as I've been making them. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to put down here now, uh, S20 Bullion, that's how it's written on Instagram if you don't follow me. And you want to see what I'm up to sort of like more regularly, that's where you can see. I do try and post pretty much weekly uh, I'm sorry daily on Instagram so anyway after I did the finger bars I wanted to get on and uh, do some sort of like different format so I went to these wide bar formats um, so it's the same mold that I'm pouring these I'm just obviously pouring a lot less into them um, so I mean weight wise these are 3.8 and 4.1 ounces and uh yeah, as you can see, this was the first ones I did of this wide bar format with the leaves and flowers still. And again, I was very happy with those. Um, I like how they came out. But I wanted to push the boat out a little bit afterwards. So I decided to start doing multi-textures. So as you can see here, the hammered bottoms, uh, putting that sort of slash line in. Um, and then just stamping the top with the leaves. I, I, I left out the flowers here. I don't know. I... I like I really actually like it more without the flowers for this sort of design um but I do like it on the thin finger bars I really like the flowers there and then yeah just sort of like a variation uh with the multi textures just going for a little bit more intricate designs here um adding a couple of lines and yeah I really liked how these came out I thought they were quite interesting and uh, and probably my favorite of them all actually was this last one here which is the the leaves on both sides um i don't know there's something quite elegant about the look of this one and i said like these all varied yeah i'd like so that one's 3.7 um, oh i see i haven't actually buffed the back of this one i've done the front but not the back um so i will buff that out to get the copper color come through this is why i've antiqued it with liver of sulfur i mean that's what it looks like after the antiquing um, and then that's what it's like, you know, after you've buffed it back just to leave the darkness. So, yeah, so that's it, guys. You know, like uh, a little bit more experimental, a little bit more artistic. And, uh, yeah, as I said, really do. If you want to see what I'm up to on a daily basis, uh, come check me out on Instagram. And, uh, yeah, as I said, you can see these and, like, you know, better pictures where you can study them in more detail and at your own pace. So I'm going to reset now for the final time and I am going to be very happy to show you these silver pores. I'll be right back. Okay, so reset and now we're going to look at these beautiful, beautiful pieces by RPM Rios Precious Metals. So um, I have only had a very cursory glance like as I opened the box I haven't actually looked at these in details yet now one of them there's a hundred gram bar this one was a trade that we did um so I traded one of my hundred gram pours for this um but then at the same time I bought this one here um now these are the the um, COA certificates of authenticity really nice like hard plastic cards uh, yeah very stylish uh, great look and uh, then we have the two there so the one as I said I traded 
is this one here. So it's the, I didn't actually know exactly which bar it was. He had several to choose from and I just said dealer's choice. So he picked one for me. So I've got a cluster bar, a uh, number six, and it's 100 grams. And then the one I bought, which I do know, is this one, the Moonscape Round. And this was the second one he did. I saw him had done one and I basically requested him to make me one as well because I just thought it was such stunning work. Now, RPM is interesting. He doesn't actually pour the metal himself. He does uh, buy blanks from reputable companies and then uh, does the post work himself. And as I said, like he truly is... Um, a metal artist you know you'll see what I mean um, when we get into them but yeah as I said even that like I got to be honest like these are these are lovely um, lovely lovely COAs so let's start with first of all let's do the 100 gram bar so this one I didn't know what I was going to get and um, there you go it comes in these lovely little you know, gray felt bags um, and let's get into it. Let's have a look at this bar. Now, RPM's work is super detailed. Now, I want you to get, uh, you know, I want to get sort of something for reference of size. I really, I don't have anything to hand that, that sort of reference. But you can see by my finger, you know, a 100 gram bar really isn't that big. You're talking like one, two, three and a half centimeters, um, you know, by like one and a half centimeters big. So it's not a lot of space. And if you just look at the amount of detail and work which has gone into that, the amount of individual strikes to create a pattern like that, um, you know, it's really, it, it, it's, it's a lot of work. You know, having done my own stuff, as you just saw in the last segment, you know, and doing the own stamping, I can really appreciate what it takes to get um, a bar to this sort of level of detail uh, it's really stunning work thank you so much it's a beautiful choice um, I absolutely love it and then we can see on the back I mean look even the back with this lovely um, stripe texture here um, so 100 gram AG number six uh, three nines yeah really beautiful 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 work just so detailed um, yeah and like this these stamps are made up of a variation of very small stars and some sort of crescent shaped moons and yeah basically yeah just just really stunning really stunning um so that's the first one that was the trade and then here comes i mean this one i just as i said i saw him he'd made one of these for someone else and i just had to order one for myself and it's a five ounce bad boy. Now look at that. I mean, now that is stunning. That is a moonscape if ever I saw one. I mean, look at that textures, the variation in texture to give you the, the contrast between the moon surface and the sky. Um, you know, the different kinds of punches, the different sized punches used to give the craters of the moon, um, the different, yeah, like the, you know, the little sun and stars, different size stars, the, yeah, I mean, it really is, it's just so much detail, I mean, look, the hammering on the edge, and then this rear, again, talking about fine detail, just look at that the amount of work to achieve that level of finish is just crazy so my friend rpm i'm not going to say your real name but thank you so much buddy this is a beauty you know now i have it in hand uh the photos just don't do it justice the amount of work that you know has gone into this is just phenomenal Really, really just amazing finishing. Stunning, stunning work. I mean, the, you know, even the variations, the different styles of um, of toning, which is used, I can see, you know. Um, yeah, just really, really, really beautiful work. Thank you so much. I, I really, two absolutely stunning pieces i am so happy to add to my poured silver collection um you know like 
just just I'm 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 breathtaking. I have actually ordered another um piece because I think his work is so good. I have ordered another piece from RPM, um, which I will get at some point in the future and that uh, I obviously will share with you guys. So look, I think that's it for now. Um, you know, look, if anybody is interested in purchasing any of my copper, you can always contact me or any silver pores or any custom work as well. Absolutely, I'm always open. Uh you can contact me. My contact details are in the description below look thank you so much if you've been watching i hope you enjoyed it and uh seriously like um look i'm gonna leave um rpm has started a youtube channel very recently so he only has a few followers so i'm gonna leave the link in the description below please do go check him out please do send some love otherwise you can find him on the silver forum um where he does sell some of his poured silver work so thank you so much guys you all take care have a lovely day and bye bye